Okay, uh, we've got uh, two market participants now joining in to give us their feedback on this. Dina Mehta, Managing Director at Asit C. Mehta Investment Intermediaries and Dheeraj Reli, MD and CEO at HDFC Securities. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining in. Uh, so you tell us, I mean, how are your teams reacting to this and should we consider this as final? That this whole proposal of extending trading hours, should we think that this is now permanently sort of off the table? Uh, Mr. Reli, let me open with you. What's, uh, what's your reaction? I think it's no means not yet. That's how I should go about it. Uh, I know that SEBI has uh, rejected the plea. And as of now, brokers are divided and they feel that the times are not right probably for extended hours. But my personal take is that it eventually after calibration, it will happen over a period of time. Right. But never say never, as you said, Mr. Ellie. But Ms. Mehta, I wanted to get your uh, opinion on this, that, okay, for now, that proposal is off the table with making all the adjustments and technical know-how. But the major simple question is, is this even a realistic proposal to have a trading day of almost 18, 19 hours? Is this even realistic to be put in place? I mean... Talking about realistic, there are so many things which are happening in the market which are not realistic. And, uh, and you know, it's a whole trial and error process going on. Like if you look at T plus zero, I mean, it's, a, it's just a trial and error. So, you know, this whole culture of uh, working out a cost-benefit analysis, tabulating it, uh, and saying that, yes, this is how much the market will benefit out of this chain. I think that uh, process... Uh, is uh, somehow uh, not very much uh, used uh, in our uh, system. And from that point of view, and I don't think because stock brokers are divided. I mean, so many decisions have been taken, those stock brokers have not been in favor of it. But I feel the underlying uh, uh, reason why this has not been done is essentially, I mean, if you look at the amount and the volume of trading, they are all happening in derivatives and options in particular. And, and this has made a lot of, and coupled with uh, the kind of brokerages, no brokerage, and uh, this whole, uh, you know, uh, idea of not charging brokerage or charging 10 rupees or whatever, that has led to, uh, you know, investors uh, indulging into frequent trading because the cost involved is very less. And that could again lead to increase in, um, increase in uh, derivatives trading. And, and having a lopsided market of so little happening in cash segment and so much happening on derivative segment, I think that is the main reason why, you know, these extended trading hours uh, uh, has not gone through. And I think uh, it is a rightful decision uh, because uh, if we are only going to increase volumes in options and derivatives, and if people are just going to, you know, speculate and not really invest in the markets, and you see the number of people uh, who are really participating, hardly one or two crores would be participating in cash market. And the people who participate in derivatives run into a few lakhs. So I feel that, um, uh, and as rightly said by my colleague, that yes, uh, this is not yet. And uh, of course, as time goes and nothing is, uh, you know, stationary or final. Yes, so sir. Yeah. That's a really interesting point you've raised, raised Ms. Mehta, that perhaps in some way this ties into the whole rise in FNO volumes and whether retail is speculating too much or not. Uh, Mr. Delhi, come in on this. Do you think this separate trend, and we know SEBI's views very, very clearly on it when they went and said that, you know, 90% of people lose money in FNO. So the, regula the regulator's views on excessive speculation in futures and options is well known. Do you think there's a link between the two? Is that one reason why uh, perhaps this has been junked for now? Yeah, absolutely. At this time, I think uh, there is a direct correlation that derivative trading is, see is seen as excessive speculation, for sure. I think the data substantiated it. Uh, we all provided that data to SEBI and exchanges that 9 out of 10 customers are not making money. And uh, this is leading to more and more speculation. So that is having an overweighing uh, thoughts on the SEBI's mind. And of course, as a regulator, they need to be cognizant of the same, that how individual investors, uh, whether they are making money or not, and how they are pegged against the uh, high-frequency traders and uh, institutional players. So to that extent, yes, it is having its own weight uh, on the minds of the regulator. 
But my take is that that's true for even 375 minutes of the trading hours that are available even now also. So uh, if we need to address the speculation piece, uh, excessive speculation piece, there are different measures one need to work on and not just the mix these two things. Uh, extended hours are more for the, you know, uh, for uh, hedging and not so much increasing the activity. Very interesting points raised by both Mr. Ali and Ms. Mehta. But thank you so much, lady and gentlemen, for joining in on this conversation. Now, for now, the takeaway is that the proposal is off the table as of now. But as Mr. Ali highlighted, never say never. So we'll keep an eye out on all the developments as they take place. But